Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was up about 0.3% today. It was actually a pretty decent day. You know, the Dow had a nice return. Uh, the NASDAQ was uh, flat. Uh, Russell 2000 was down. But really kind of the big thing that's happening right now in the big area that I think you should probably focus on altogether and that we're looking at is just the yield on the 10-year treasury because it's a pretty good proxy for what's going to happen with inflation uh, and you know where that's going and, and the direction that it's going helps. And, and inflation is really important in this particular environment because it denotes you know what parts of the stock market might do well. So value generally does better than growth in, a, in an inflationary environment. And of course, you know the bond portion of the portfolios is really, really uh, heavily you know linked into what's happening to the yield on the bond. So when the yield on the bonds goes up, usually because of some inflationary environment or economic growth that's pretty hot, uh, the price of the bonds go down. And so, you know, what we had today was kind of the opposite. We saw the 10-year treasury yield drop below 1.3% just for a little while. It ended up a little bit higher than that in the end. Uh, but we, you know, we had this phenomenal, you know, drop in inflation, I'm sorry, in the yield on the standard treasury, uh, really throughout 2019, and then really a huge drop uh, at the beginning of 2020, because of the pandemic, they lowered rates, you know, to stimulate the economy, and what have you, we got all the way down to really a record low of a half a percent on the 10 year treasury in August of last year. And then we ran up from there all the way to one and three quarter percent. And so there was this big fear of inflation. And really what has happened, and the reason that that is falling, it, what it tells you, you know, if the question is, is inflation waning, the answer is yes, uh, certainly right now. And what's happening in the bond market is seeing all of these things that they were afraid of starting to mitigate. So, for example, the stimulus package, you know, it was came out uh, earlier in the year and we saw the yield go up a lot, a lot of fear about that causing inflation. Uh, and that's been sort of absorbed. Uh, and then we've seen, you know, all these supply chain issues happening where, you know, people can't get semiconductors to make trucks and those type of things. And they're starting to see some mitigation of those. We saw lumber prices coming back down, those types of things, as the supply chain kind of adjusts itself for this, you know, kind of demand shoot up that happened as this thing has reopened. Um, and so I think one of the other key things here is that, you know, we're reaching the uh, point in time where the world needs to really be contributing in terms of uh, economic gains, uh, reopening and those types of things. And we're quite a ways away from that happening. Now, we might have an inflationary environment here at some point in time when the world gets really opened up and all of this pent up demand comes out. Uh, and, you know, right now what we're seeing is this, you know, temporary thing uh, where, you know, couldn't get enough people to come to work. And that seems to have gotten a little bit better, you know, and all of these things that are temporary have started to got a little bit better. And so you're starting to see that yield come back down. You know, we'll have to wait and see what happens here in the fall, for example, or at the beginning of next year, what have you, to see if there's another surge. Uh, but again, at the moment, the bond market should do fairly well in this environment, which it is, uh, because you know when the yields drop, the, the price goes up, uh, and the uh, stock market should do pretty well in this environment also, which it also is uh, altogether. The S&P 500 hit a record today uh, again. So really, you know, fascinating time frame to see what's happening uh, and I think, you know, one of the best places to be here is kind of that broad market, which is, you know, our biggest component of our portfolio now is in the broad market, just because, you know, we can see kind of the switching around of the inflationary fears. Uh, but right now, essentially, with the 10 year Treasury coming down, the bond market is seeing less inflationary risk. Uh, and so that's, you know, a really important point and falling below 1.3%, uh, you know, somewhat significant also today. So uh, really fascinating. Uh, look forward to talking to you tomorrow and see what happens. Thank you.